Hi and welcome to another Type With Me. In this week I want to use a little bit of reflection. <laughs> right, and I want to do it in TypeScript. Reflection is a, is a concept within TypeScript and I think it's nice to know and to explore it a little bit. Right, so reflection is the capacity of code to inspect and modify itself while running. Right, if we have reflection on ourselves, well, we have also that eh? we, we want to inspect and modify ourselves while we are living our lives, right? But within code, we can do the same. While we are running our code, we want to inspect and modify itself so we can adapt, right? And that while we are running our code. So if you go to the uh, documentation of Mozilla, for example, you will find a little bit more information about Reflect. Reflect is a built-in object that provides methods for inter interceptable uh, JavaScript operations. The methods are the same as those of proxy handlers. Reflect is not a function object, so it's not constructible. All right. Again, we will use certain things of Reflect uh, so that we can try it out a little bit. Reflect is available from ECMAScript 2015. So, um, all right, let's go and see and explore a little bit and use the Reflect object. So first of all, I want to create something like a root object. It has a property which has uh, something like cool, right? So now I added root object.prototype and I added full bar on that uh, class, All right? Then we're gonna create an instance of it with const root equals root object. Then we're going to loop over the root and we're going to or try to access all keys within the root object, right? And then we're going to do a console.log. So the same result can be done with reflect. For now, execute this one. You see here that we get again prop, right? So for let us add something like this uh, public uh, has, uh, or is cool boolean equals false something like that and then we can say hey I want to do a console dot log reflect dot has and then we can do root comma cool for example and then of course we want to check if it has that and then I want to do something like uh, bogus I want to check if it has uh, property bogus and then you will see that we get of course true because is cool is there so he has is cool and then he doesn't have bogus so it's false right so that's something that you can also use to check if an object has a certain property. So we can also delete a property with reflect. So I'm gonna delete this cool and then I'm gonna print out if it has that property and then it should be false, right? So Let's execute it again. You see, it's false. If here after that, we also gonna go over it, you will see that it's been deleted. It's not there anymore, right? So that's also a great thing if you say, okay, I want to delete a certain property of an object. Uh, very easily and I don't want to use something like this. I don't want to use delete um, root dot is cool for example. Yeah, then we cannot do that. All 
also, and that's something that I'm also very curious about. I do root dot is cool. Yeah, you will see. We still get the opportunity to do something with this school, but this school has already been deleted there. So, yeah, at runtime it will fail on this, right? Keep that also in mind. Another thing that you could do is do something like this console.log reflect.get root. And then we can do something like prop, right? And then we get the value of prop. You see here that we have a printout of cool, right? See here, first reflection.has, which is uh, uh, true, false, false. And then we have here at the end cool, and then we have our property. I'm just going to delete this one for a little bit more clarity, right? And then, of course, when we run it again, you'll see here that we get cool, right? Also, another thing that we could do is reflect dot define property define. Oh, yeah, target. Sorry, first one is target, just root. Then our property key is defined, and then of course we want to add an attribute. Hello. Yeah, well, actually, we need to do it like this, right? We need to do value hello. We need to say that the value is hello. If we now do console log reflect dot get root and then our property define we should get hello. And here we go, we get hello! Yeah, cool, nice. So another cool thing, but I'm gonna add it into extensible.ts, for example, is this one, right? What I wanna do is I just created an object, an empty object, and then I wanna see, okay, reflect those dot is extensible, and then object one should output true. And then we say, okay, we don't want to have it extendable, right? Then, of course, when we ask is extensible, uh, we get false, and then we try to do things upon it. Um, so, then I think if I do something like reflect dot define property. And you do something like this, object one. And we define a property, and we say that value false. It normally should do something, right? So I'm very curious. Of course, we need to pick extensible yes so this one is a little bit strange I don't know why it's still possible and we don't get any complaints about it I'm also curious if I do something like this object one dot Hello equals f. Of course, we get an error because it doesn't exist, right? So maybe we need to do something like this set. And also, there 
it's still possible. Maybe it's something I don't really understand. If you have some suggestions why it still is possible, please uh, put it in the description uh, or in the comments on this video. And then I'm happy to learn also something about it, right? So again, if you want to play a little bit with it, just go to the website of uh, Mozilla and just learn also about it. It's, it's nice. It has uh, a box where you can try things out. And there you have reflect.get own property descriptor. If you see here, we have an object property 142. Uh, and we say, okay, uh, we want to have from object 1 property 1, right? Or from object one property two, which is undefined, or we want to say okay, we want from object one property one the um, writable because we want to know if it's writable. Well, then we get a true. If we want to get a value, then of course we get uh, forty two, right? So if we go back here. And I'm just very curious. I just want to see, okay, what do we get back? And we get back an object with value for two, writable true, enumerable true, uh, configurable also true. So these are the things that you can get back from get own property descriptor, right? Which is the property descriptor of that property on that object. So I can recommend you to just go into uh, documentation and dive a little bit deeper. Same with reflection.owns keys. Then you can say, okay, I want to see what the own keys of object one is and it's property one and property two. So we can just run it and see how to retrieve them, right? I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. For me, it's a really high opener. I wasn't aware of the reflect uh, global object. And I think when I want to do something with it, I, I'm, I'm going to think about it, that this also exists and maybe I'm going to use it as well. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you very much. Please like it or give it a thumbs up uh, when you found it a very interesting video or subscribe to my channel it means a lot to me thank you very much see you next time